we're going to solve half of the problems that we need to solve right now, we have to stop running away and designing cruets for expensive Italian brands and start applying ourselves to the real issues of water, the atmosphere, the environment, because that's what we do. We're designers and we change things. And when we change things, we better be absolutely sure that we're changing them for the better. Because if you can't be an optimistic futurist, then you should damn well do something else less dangerous. On many dimensions, we need to make the world a better place. We need to imagine possibilities for a better world than we currently have and then make those things happen. The key to that is design. Design is not just a problem-solving discipline, it is also a solution-creating discipline. Design is in charge of imagining, crafting and executing relevant, meaningful and enjoyable experiences for people. As such, we have also the opportunity and with that the responsibility to create solutions that are sustainable from an ecological, an emotional and a social standpoint. Over the next 60 years, we're going to have an even greater role in improving the human experience. If you see design only as a business strategy or as a form of management or as a structural thinking methodology, you have it all wrong. If design is to lead to a better future, perhaps it needs not to promise solutions, but to look at possibilities that are positive. So I strongly believe that industrial design is a must-have and it has to bring a competitive advantage. Design naturally lives in the intersection between art, science, technology and humanity. That's why it's never been more relevant to help solve the world's biggest challenges right now. I believe a design can play a leading role in helping to solve some of the world's major issues. I believe that design, and specifically industrial design, has been part of the problem. But nevertheless, with designers' growing ability to think in systems and in business models, I also believe that design is part of the solution. If we want to leave to our children more desirable and sustainable work, our societies have to become globally more creative more reactive with citizens fully involved. The real question though is how do we get ourselves heard? How do we work with others? One solution might be that we have to come down out of our ivory towers and roll up our sleeves to get our hands dirty. I believe that our position as advocates of end users, our ability to stay in the crossfire will give designers a central role in future decision making. It's about taking responsibility for the people that we're designing for, taking responsibility for the environment. And I think that this change which is proposed in the name of the organisation, ICSED, will, will help us make this transition. I asked a number of our young designers here at Priest and Good whether they knew about ICSED, had they heard about ICSED. And unfortunately, very few had. So I think it's right to change the name and change it to a much better name. So I am very supportive of the change that ICSID is planning. Um, I think it's strong and distinctive. We're really excited to learn about this new vision about design for a better world. We're seeing design being used much more for co-design together with citizens and customers and uh, users. Secondly, we're seeing design taking a social turn. And thirdly, we're seeing design being leveraged to create new business models and new governance models. We have an opportunity as a group of creative thinkers to help come up with all new solutions and have a positive impact. Business leaders are not asking. They are demanding that we step up and lead. I want to congratulate the board members for this whole new mission. We at BRP strongly believe it can mobilize the world's design community in creating clever solutions to make our world a better world. Do we have a problem? Great. So let's get together, approach it from all angles, find the original solutions, test them, and implement the best for them. Being a positive catalyst for change is in the best tradition of industrial design. I believe it's absolutely the right thing to do to position design as something that helps humanize the world around us and humanize the technology. I believe the Design for a Better World initiative 
and our efforts from now on will act as a pivotal moment in defining and shaping our future. I may be somewhat biased, but in my opinion, I think industrial designers are uniquely prepared and particularly well qualified to navigate the shifting currents and uncharted waters of unprecedented change. But with change, there remains still one constant, the overriding desire of every industrial designer I've ever known to make the world a better place. We're only limited by our imaginations.